It's time for a berry blast today on Walking the Candy Aisle. Hey guys, Jeff here with a review of Mike and Ike's Berry Blast candy. That is right, Mike and Ike's. Um, it actually says Mike plus Ike, but who says Mike and Ike? Yeah. Anyway, uh, Mike, uh, Mike and Ike. Good candy. Uh, I like it. Something I don't have basically ever, <laughs> but it is good. Um, I reviewed maybe a year ago, I reviewed the original fruit, <clears throat> Mike and Ike's, and I give it a four. So this is basically the one, the other main skew of Mike and Ike's, um, <clears throat> the berry flavor. So while the original came around in the 40s, this one was, uh, was first launched in 1987. It's from the Just Born Company, the people that brought you uh, Peeps, and um, I don't know what else they have. Hot tamales? <laughs> I don't know. I know whenever I was a kid, if I were to get, if there was like a choice of Mike and Ike's versus like hot tamales, I would always choose hot tamales. So this is not, uh, especially this Berry Blast skew. I don't know if I've ever had this before. But I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm expecting good things. It's got a new look. with Made with real fruit juice. That's a good sign. Um, these are kind of like, it's kind of like Skittles Wild Berry in that sort of sense, just in terms of like the flavor skew. So we've got uh, wild berry, blue raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, and peach berry, which looks like peach and blueberries again. And wild berry is obviously raspberry and blackberry. So that's exciting. Um, Mike and Ike's Berry Blast Explosion. Oh, sorry, that's the French explosion of berries, I guess. Uh, we're together again. You're the reason we make great candy. Oh, right. Recently, Mike and Ike, um, maybe a year ago, Mike and Ike were running a campaign where they were split up. So it was, you could buy boxes that just said Mike or just said Ike on them. Anyway, that's, uh, that ad campaign is over. So they are uh, back together. Mike and Ike. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything else too exciting on here to read. Let's just get into this. I think we all know what this is. It's your standard sort of, uh, gummy candy, gummy chewy candy. More chewy than gummy, right? More like uh, jujubes, sort of. Oh, look at those colors. I always find, like, <laughs> is it just me? Or, like, you know, like, the alternate skew of, uh, of candies? Like, the, the berry skew or the tropical skew? I always find the colors really, like, kind of off-putting. It's like, like... I just, I'm so comfortable and used to like, you know, the Lifesavers five flavor colors. And those, whenever you see the same candy in different colors, it kind of weirds me out. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, so let's see which one's which here. We've got Wild Berry is the purple. Um, blue Raspberry, it looks like there's a lot of those. Strawberry, yum. Blueberry, the dark blue. Okay. And whoa, uh, peach, peach berry. I guess that's those ones. All right. So I got some of each. All right. Let's start with the. Uh, well, let's start with the wild berry right on top there. Wild berry. This is a Mike and Ike, by the way. In case for some reason you haven't seen them, it's kind of like a jelly bean, only a little thinner and a little, maybe a touch longer, like a kind of a capsule shape. They got a nice chew to them. I'm surprised this has real fruit juice in it. Hmm. I wonder what the juice is. This is good. Good flavoring. Mm. Juice from concentrate. Pear, orange, strawberry, cherry, lime, lemon. And that's it. If you see candies with real fruit juice... Oftentimes, the only juice that it'll actually have in it is um, pear. They use that as a base juice, and then they add flavoring to make it taste like other things. That's good. I like the berry, the wild berry. Um, let's try peach berry. Insides aren't much to look at. Basically, just a jelly bean. Hmm. This is nice. It's got that real like um, tangy peach flavor. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a fan of that. So far, 
two for two. Let's try the um, blue raspberry. I expect these are all going to be pretty good. You don't have a candy stay on shelves since 1987 without it being all right. Yep, blueberry. Now this, of all the flavors, even the peach, this is the oddest one. You almost never see blueberry flavored candy. Maybe Jelly Belly, but you know, that's probably about it. Even though you'll see like a mixed berry, but I wonder if it's just one that doesn't always translate. In the same way like cranberry, blueberries kind of have that tartness to them. It's really toned down here. It's not a really heavy blueberry flavor, which is probably the right way to go. All right, last one, let's try strawberry. Strawberry is classically my favorite of any of these kind of flavors, usually. Hmm. Yep, pretty good. I gotta say, overall, this is pretty much what I expected. It's solid. Um, I don't know why I don't go, don't go and buy this stuff very often. It just, I think I've got other stuff I want to try, usually. But you're not going to go wrong getting this. And if you're like going to the movies, this is a theater size box. This is great. It's not something you're going to like blast through in the first two minutes like you are with like, I don't know, uh, Raisinets or Whoppers or something. I find those go really fast. This requires some commitment to chewing. And the great thing about this is that all of these ones have so much flavor in them. You could eat these really, you could eat these one at a time. And it'd be great. It'd be fine. Make your theater candy last the whole movie. That's what I say. <laughs> anyway, Mike and Ike's Berry Blast. I dig it. Um, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate it a very strong. Mm, you know what? I'm going to give it a four out of five, actually. I was going to give it a really high three, but I'll give it a four. It's good. Um, it's not something I'm going to run out and buy all the time, I think, but it's certainly solid. Um, I don't think you're going to go wrong here with this. So live it up. Enjoy it. Um, you know. Go out and give it a shot. Yeah, Mike and Ike's. Not not too shabby. Okay, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Um, don't forget to click those links you see on the screen. I uh, really appreciate any comments you have. Leave them below. And I'll talk to you guys next time, okay? Uh, have a good one. Bye.